I'm Jess from the Insight for Blind channel on YouTube. I'm a blind occupational therapist and I'm here today to show you how Way Around can help you to identify and keep track of everything in your refrigerator or freezer. So let's get started. If you cannot see to read labels or identify food containers, there are strategies that can help you. And in my companion video on the Insight for Blind channel, I give you nine tips on how to get started. So if you combine those nine tips with Way Around, you can create the ultimate system for accessing everything you need in your refrigerator and freezer. And as always, it's gonna take organizational strategies, tactual markings, and your favorite assortment of weight tags. We're gonna start by talking about how you can combine way around with tactual methods to help you find things quicker and easier. For example, when you are buying things that are similar at the store, if you get them in different sizes, that can help give you a quick clue. I have here a large sweet relish and a really small little dill relish. So they're still marked with my way around tag, but I can, I can quickly grab the one I need. I have the same thing here with a large, gel, a large grape jelly and a small strawberry jelly. The way tags themselves can actually give you tactual clues. For example, I have honey mustard, which has a, a rounded way clip banded to it, and my ranch dressing has an oval-shaped button banded to it. So when I feel those tags themselves, I know exactly what salad dressing that is. Now this third dressing has a squared tag on it, but it also has a bump dot. So you can modify the tag to give you even more information. Everything I have with a bump dot tells me that it's low fat. You can do the same thing for or gluten free or low sodium or any kind of dietary restrictions. The placement of the way tags can also give you great tactual clues. For example, I have two soups here that are identical in their containers, but my favorite one has the sticker, the way tag sticker, right in the middle. When I feel that, I know exactly what it is. This soup over here has the tag more to the edge, so I know it's different. Now just remember, these are tips to help you find what you're looking for quicker, but the best way for you to know for sure that you have what you're looking for is to get out your smartphone and read your way tag. One of the great things about Way Around is that the tags are totally reusable. So what I do is I have a few little containers that I keep in my fridge, and after I'm done with that product, I just hold on to the tags, because when I replace it, the tags are already made. Same thing with those soups I just showed you. Once I eat the soup, I'm keeping that top, because when I replace it, I just get rid of the new top and replace it with this one that's already tagged. If you have low vision, you can use visual cues in combination with your way tags to help you find things quicker and easier, just like we did with the tactual methods. I have frozen chicken here, so there's an address label with chicken written very large with a sharpie. But I still have my way tag in there as well. Now when I organize my meat in the freezer, I double bag it. And between the outer and inner bags, that's where I toss in my way tag. So I have an oval button here, and we're gonna read it to show you how much more information you can put on your way tag. Read button. Oh, ready, to, ready to scan. One pound chicken tenders. All right, so it identified as one pound chicken tenders, but what else is on there? Purchase date, May 9th, 2021. List start. Type of cut. Tenders. List end. Pretty cool. And remember, even if you can't see the labels, putting printed labels on things will help your roommate or your family members to understand your tagging system and help you to maintain it. Way Around is perfect for batch cooking because when somebody prepares food for you, there's a lot of information you're gonna wanna put on your tag. Check it out. Read button. Oh, ready to scan. Ready to scan. White beans and rice. Prepared by Nana. Lip prepared on. May 12th, 2021. Need to know. Very spicy. Reheat instructions. Three minutes in the microwave on high. List end. 
Now, as you can tell, these are custom details that I actually created on this tag, and that's a lot of information. So, but WayAround makes it really easy to copy tags. So, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily edit. do that. You hit edit. Edit way tag, heading level one. Right button. And then you hit right. Oh, ready, to ready to scan. And once you touch it to the next tag. Success, way tag written. It makes a perfect copy. White beans and rice. Check out how Way Around can help you tag your box dinners in the freezer. I have here a couple of lean cuisines and they are tagged with weight clips and silicone bands. So when you are tagging your box dinners, be sure to put the identifying information in the description, but then you can create custom details for all of the reheating or preparation instructions that you want. And if you don't remember how to do that quickly and easily, refer to our earlier video on copying and pasting into your way tags. Now, when it comes to re-tagging after you eat your frozen meal, you have a couple of options. You can either save this tag and put it on the new box, or you can just slip your new dinner into the, um, the original box and make it even easier. As you can see, Way Around gives you endless possibilities for creating a system that is fully accessible for identifying, preparing, and tracking the age of the foods that are in your refrigerator and your freezer. So here's a summary and a few extra tips for you to get started with your Way Tags. Tip number one, using boxes or bins can help you tag things by category, like my seasoning blends in this box. Down below, I've got a box of corn, and over here, I've organized my beef. Number two, weight tag buttons have been rated to negative 40 degrees, but any weight tag can go in the refrigerator or freezer. Number three, silicone bands are great for securing oval buttons or weight clips on any items in your fridge or freezer, and they're less likely to snap than a rubber band. Number four, Weight tags can go through the dishwasher, so you can mark your containers. The antenna inside the tag is plastic coated, which protects it from moisture. But you don't want to submerge it, it's just good for a quick dip. The only tags that can be submerged are the oval hole button and the two hole button, which makes them perfect for the laundry. Number five, the shape and placement of the tags can give you useful information. So be really thoughtful about where you're putting the tags and what shape you use. Number six, designate a spot for storing your tags so you can use them again. This is an important step in creating a complete system for tagging, consuming, buying, then re-tagging your groceries. I'm gonna go into more details on this in a future video. Number seven, the way link can help you to sift through all of the frozen items in your freezer. It's especially helpful if you have a chest freezer or a freezer that's just packed full of items that are difficult to identify. Number eight, if you have low vision, you can combine written labels with your way tags to make it quicker and easier to find what you want. For example, you can go online and purchase these reusable labels that work in the refrigerator, the freezer, and can even go through the wash. So now you know your way around to tag and organize everything in your refrigerator and freezer. And if you combine these tips with the strategies in my companion video on the Insight for Blind channel, then you will have the ultimate fully accessible system for identifying and tracking all the items in your refrigerator or freezer. Click the link below in the description if you wanna check out the video. Remember, you can customize your way tags to have as much information as you want. That's the beauty of Way Around. To order more way tags, go to wayaround.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Way Around channel on YouTube for endless ideas on how to tag everything in your world. And don't forget to subscribe to the Insight for Blind channel on YouTube, where I give you the tips, tools, and techniques for living your best life with vision loss. I'm here to help you learn your way around with vision loss, so no worries, you got this. See you next time.